I had to stop here. This is killer. We're getting a hexagonal pattern. Now this stuff's all jetting and out this way towards us, okay? That would have been too. Um, <laughs> we were down below earlier looking and see this in here? This would be, uh, they're laying this way. They're small, what they call uh, basalt columns. I'll look from this side and you'll see what I'm talking about. But they're a lot smaller in diameter. See that? See how that's coming out at an angle like that? Okay, and they're snapped off. They go way back in there. This is biology, this is not geology. Or, yeah, sorry. But look at that pattern. The hexagonal pattern. See that? Wish I could crawl up in there closer. But you can see it there too. I just showed you from over there. And it's all coming out towards us this way, okay? It's all been chopped off because they've been, you know, putting a cut bank for the road. But look at that in there. <laughs> This is this is never molten lava or magma, intrusive magma. You know, because then we got the other ones that are standing up vertical like this, you know. Oh no, they just happen to do that pattern laying horizontal and vertical, by golly. <laughs> are you kidding me? Yeah. This is so eroded down. But that right through there. Hope I got it right. I can't see because the sun's in my eyes. I'm going to try to crawl up in there. It's so steep I can't. This is vertical. No, yeah, pretty vertical. But those right there that really stick out. That hexagonal pattern. You can see how they're right there. They would have come out here and then this is so eroded off here i'm not sure i'm pretty sure there's might have been some of it too it looks like coming out this way all right i gotta get out of the road it's all that blocky hexagonal through there like i showing you before on basalt columns well those are horizontal basalt columns instead of vertical <laughs> yeah they fractured that way horizontally as long as, uh, uh, they call them jointing, horizontal and vertical. Yep, that's what that is. No, I'm joking, I'm being a smart like They're totally lost on this. You can't have it both ways, man, it don't do that. Vertical and horizontal identical. End of story. Oh, you talk about a beautiful drive. Ooh, baby. It is pretty out there. Steep too. <laughs> Did the nose bleed? I think we're almost to the top. Nah, we gotta go through over there. That's the top up there. Yeah, we're, we're getting a lot higher up here. Got a real big timber type change. See how they're short? Lot, the trees are a lot, sh lot shorter here. And this is like a noble fir here. And then we got a uh, grand fir there. Got a red fir there. But see the noble fir in here? It's because we're getting high out elevation like, and we're getting to alpine meadows here in a minute. And uh, because we're getting high as we are in the Cascades, as they are in the Cascades, and you start getting into this, the timber type. This is the only mountain, I believe, in the, uh, Oregon, in the Coast Range, that has this because of the high altitude on Mary's Peak because we're 4,097 feet. That's the very top of Mary's Peak. How's this for a view? There's that mountain I was just talking about with the dip and the nose on it. There's another one way, way, way over there. That's Roman nose with the dip and the, the, the nose on it. There's another one way, way over there. Same thing. Like I told you, I found seven or nine of these mountains that are absolutely identical with the black toe, the dip, and the bulbous nose. <laughs> yeah, the earth just puked that out accidentally like that. Look at this meadow. Short trees. This is the only one, I believe, in the coast range here in Oregon that has the alpine meadows. It's just absolutely gorgeous. 
the coast is over that way the ocean that's the valley eugene springfield way over there the cascade mountains okay and of course this was all underneath the surface of the ocean at one time <laughs> Let's go up here and take the drone. All righty. Yep, as soon as you can explain RNA and DNA through Big Bang Theory, I'll believe you. But geologists can't explain RNA and DNA with evolution of Big Bang Theory, because it's impossible. There's no way you could have RNA, the code, the DNA. Just evolved from nothing. People have lost their minds. Can't even critical think anymore, just turned to mush. And a lot of it's because of narcissism and vanity and oh, I got her figured out, look at me. And when people pump you up with praise, like they do that geologist, thinking he's a demigod, and oh, how'd we ever live without you? You don't think that goes to a person's head? <laughs> I can never be wrong. <sighs> yeah, this is beautiful. We got these noble furs up here and grand furs and white fur that you can only find at higher elevations, okay? Right in here, see that? You don't find that down there, you find, you know, hemlock, Douglas fir, like that, your hardwoods, your broadleaf maples, your red alder, you know, your western red cedars, your north, you know, your northwest spruce, things like that. Yeah, we're almost, we're up 4,000 feet almost now and see the That's the Willamette Valley. This is going to be a totally separate video. All right. Look at this. Like you're on top of the world. On top of the highest peak in the Coast Range in Oregon. This here's the Willamette Valley, Eugene, Springfield, Salem, Portland, Oregon, that way, Seattle on up. This is that valley. Over there's Cascade Mountains. Okay, we're in the coast range here. That's something. And there's all your pollution from the cows farting. No, I'm joking. <laughs> now you can't see it, but there's Mount Hood. Way over there. Three Sisters Wilderness area in the mountains will be down over there in Oak Ridge. So we're at kind of an angle here. Portland's up there, and then I 84 that runs up. Hood River that way runs at an angle that way. So the Columbia River is way over there. Actually, that's not. That's Mount Jefferson. There's Mount Hood. Mount Hood's way over there. I'm wrong. <laughs> Shall you say that? I'm wrong. A lot of people can't say that. It really hurts. There's Mount Hood. Let's see if I can point it out to you on camera. All right. There. And that one over there is Mount Jefferson, I believe. So hard to see. I mean, I can't even see the Three Sisters from here. But man, we are really up high. Now this is what I call getting high. This is, there no better high than this right here, so. Let's get the drone. We might walk up on top. I don't know. I could fly up there easier. <laughs> yeah, they want, they want money to walk up on top. I'll just fly up there with a the drone. I'm not bull paying. <laughs> Nice thing about a drone, we don't have to walk up there. They're gonna pay us. No, we're not. <laughs> get this all set up and we'll get up there. Take a look around. Man, isn't this something? I'm sorry, but this is what gets me high. Just creation, man, being up here. Of course, you can tell in my last video, I was doing some hooping and hollering because I get jacked up, man, being up here in God's creation, seeing his stuff. <laughs> I do, man, this is my high. I don't need nothing else but this. And being up real high like this, you know, and looking out over all the... I mean, I could have swore I seen Idaho. <laughs> Look at these meadows, alpine meadows. And we got a really big timber type change with 
the white furs and the grand furs and the noble furs you know, see what i'm saying we get out of the red fur furs and stuff like that there's still some mixed in but nothing like there is a what we got of just a regular noble fur and grand fur stuff like that so all right let's get down off this mountain and head for home and do a video oh there you can see mount i think it's mount jefferson i know mount adams is north on the other side of the river from hood river so i know it's not that because i know that's mount hood over there and where's home for me? Back over there in the coast range. Back in the mountains towards the coast. I live, as a bird flies, I only live, oh, probably 30 miles, from 20, 20 miles from here. 25 as the bird flies. But it took me two hours to drive here. <laughs> I mean, you can see, I mean, over there is, I can see where I've been doing uh, videos on the coast.
They're about 3,500 feet in elevation. Mary's Peak's at the top. You can't get any cleaner water than this, but I can't get to it to get a drink. Oh yeah, I can. We're gonna drink some of this good water. Can't get any better water than that. Unless we fall in. Ah, I need my hands here. That was kind of tough to get over. <laughs> Now they put it there so people don't get in here and fall in that culvert. But I gotta get me some of this drinking water. I don't fall in. Some nice drinking on the way home if I can get out of here. <laughs> Love it. Oh yeah. Boy, that's nice. Isn't that pretty? All right, get back over this. Alright, got me some nice mountain water. <laughs>